Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you MailerLite tutorial or email marketing beginner's guide. Before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, you might be a beginner in uh, basically email marketing and you're looking for a tool and you stumble upon MailerLite here. Well, in this case, MailerLite is actually pretty easy to use or if you're wondering if it's actually for free. Well, in this case, you could actually try MailerLite here for free, but there's going to be a limit to that. So first things first is we need to go to the official website, which is going to be MailerLite.com and we want to go to their pricing. So currently in their marketing tab here, we have the following plans here. So currently we have the advanced option, which is $18 a month. And in this case, you have the following features. So that includes Facebook integration, custom HTML editor, promotion pop-ups, and a lot more. Now we also have the growing business, which is $9 a month. And the free version here, which is 12,000 monthly emails, one user, and 24-7 email and chat support for up to 30 days. Now you also have the key features which includes drag and drop editor, email automation builder, websites, 10 landing pages, comparative reporting, and sign up forms and pop ups. Now, in this case, we want to start using it for free, so let's go ahead and click on sign up at the top right of our screen here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to fill out all the necessary details. So that includes their company, the name, email address, and password that you want to use for your account. Or you could use your Google account or your Microsoft account here to sign up. In this case, go ahead and choose your Google account here. So I'll, since I'll be using my Google account, and from here, let's go ahead and click on continue. Now, what we need to do next is we need to indicate an account name. So in this case, I want to say I just want to include my name here. And we want to also agree to the Miller Light Terms of Use, Privacy Policy, and Anti-Spam Policy here. Now, if you want to read more regarding of their terms and privacy policy here, you can just go ahead and click on the following links here. But for now, let's go ahead and click on continue. Now, in this case, the next page that you'll be seeing here is going to be an email verification page if you prefer signing up manually. Now, since I actually use my Google account to uh, basically create my account, I won't have any, any, have, or any of those problems because in this case, uh, my email is already verified. In this case, what we need to do next is we need to view what are the things that we can do here. So dashboard uh, in this left panel here, this contains most of the pages that we could actually access. So dashboard would contain uh, the uh, general information about our account. In this case, this includes the uh, welcome page or welcome to mailer light section here. So in this case, it already has two of the following steps, which is signing up and email verification already done for me. So we just need to complete our profile. In this case, I would suggest you to click on the complete profile option here. So let's go ahead and click on complete here. And from here, you just need to provide the following details. So that includes your first name, your last name here, as well as your time zone that you want to use. Now in this case, what we need to do next is fill out all infor information here. So for example, I want to say I'm into, let's just game games here. And from here, what we need to do, what what tools are you interested in using? So I'm going to answer campaigns here. And from here, let's go ahead and confirm that. In this case, uh, typically, uh, you should be able to see the next step at the bottom right here. So let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, just provide all the desired details that they need. Also, you need to agree to the I have read and uh, to the mailers anti spam policy here. As well as if you want to get more product updates, feature releases, and more, you can go ahead and enable the following options here. But in this case, once you've completed this, we are now ready to start using um, Mailer Lite. So in this case, what we need to do first is we first have to uh, basically uh, create our subscribers. So typically at the left panel here, you should be able to see subscribers. So what are subscribers? Where subscribers are going to be people who are actually subscribed to your um, email marketing or your email. So in this case, your subscriber uh, directly means people who are actually directly uh, receiving your emails. So in this case, if you want to add subscribers, you could just go to subscribers here and just click on the add subscribers at the top right of your screens, uh, screen. Now from here, you could go ahead and drag a CSV file here if you have that or a TXT file. But in this case, you could also add a singular subscriber here. Or if you want to copy and paste it from your Excel, you could go ahead and choose that as well. But for now, we are going to add a singular subscriber. So for this example, I'm going to add my email here and the following uh, name here. 
In this case, once we've done that, we could go ahead and click on add subscriber. Now, if you want to add more fields into the name, go ahead and click on show more fields here and fill out all the details needed. In this case, let's go ahead and click on add subscriber. Now, once you've done that, it's going to see, uh, it's gonna say save. So let's just go back into subscribers. And from here, you should be able to see the following subscribers that you have right now. Now, also within subscribers, you have segments. And we also have a group. So segments are dynamic lists of your subscribers based on their attributes and behaviors. Now, it's actually quite different to groups. So groups allows you to organize your subscriber based on interests, actions, and more. So that's the difference between segments and groups. So if you want to group them according to your interests, like for example, they are going to be uh, more interested on, let's say, uh, on retail or in t-shirts or in jackets, you could basically group them into that specific category. Now, also you have fields here, stats, and cleanup inactive so if anyone is inactive in your list you could actually uh clean them up in here they also have the history here so in this case you should be able to see the subscriber history that uh, is coming into your account now also we have forms here now you might be wondering how do we how do we capture people uh so that we'll be able to uh, basically give out subs uh sub email marketing without you actually entering their details first well you can actually create forms so in this case let's go and click our form here now what we need to do is we need to enter the name of our form so i'm going to, going to say test a form here and from here let's just say a pop-up will do good for us so let's go ahead and click on save and continue now from here what we need to do is we need to uh, basically create our subscriber group so in this case let's go, let's go ahead and click on create group here and let's just say test subscriber group and from here let's go ahead and click on create now from here, what's, what we want to do is we want to select this one, click on continue. And once we've done that, we now want to start creating our pop-up. In this case, let's go ahead and choose whatever option we want to choose here. So for example, I want to use this one. So let's go ahead and click on choose. Now, once you've chosen your template here, it should redirect you to another page. Now, on this page, you should have the capability to basically edit your form. Now, in this case, if you want to customize it further, like for example, change a few text here, you can just double click on it and change the text that you want to say. So, for example, I'm going to add a test here. And from here, you could even add different designs, like for example, headings, buttons, inputs, countdowns, and a lot more. But for now, we are good with the design here, and we just made some minor changes here. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and click on Done Editing at the top right here. And once we've done that, we are now ready to start using it. In this case, we have the behavior here. You could even change that. So let's go ahead and click on Save Changes. But if you want to change one of the following options here, you could go ahead and do that. But for now, let's go ahead and get this by default. Now, in this case, you have the JavaScript tracking snippet here and Show on Click event uh, options as well in this case you need to basically integrate or add all this code here that you have or you'll be seeing on your screen on your website now if you're using a specific website you might need to uh, basically contact the provider or the platform that you're getting the services of the uh, website builder itself but for now let's go and click on continue and from here, you should be able to see the form itself. Now, if you want to change anything here, you could go and click on Edit Design, even Edit Groups, and basically enable it. Or, for example, if you want to see analytics, automations, and a lot more. Now, obviously, it's going to, there's going to be a lot of things that you could do here, but for now, we're just sticking to the basics. Now, if you want to start creating a form or your uh, basically the e uh, the campaigns for your account, you can go and get, go to the campaign section here, and from here, let's go and click on create. Now, there's going to be multiple campaigns that you could choose from, like regular campaign, AMB split campaign, RSS campaign, auto resend campaign, and multivariate campaign. But for now, we're going to use the regular campaign. Now, for example, we want to enter the following details here. So let's just say I'm going to name this as test campaign. And from here, we want to add a subject. So for example, I want to say test email here. Now, the pre-header, you could go ahead and uh, add it. So for example, I'm going to add a test pre-header here, but you could add whatever you want here. So, for example, we want to add subscribers here. So, in this case, you could go ahead and choose all subscribers here or choose from the available groups. So, I want to send this to all my subscribers. Let's go ahead and choose this one. Click on select. And from here, what we need to do is we should be able to preview at the right side here. In this case, let's go ahead and click on next. And from here, what we need to do is we need to edit 
our our email. In this case, you could even you could start from scratch here, or even choose from the template gallery that I have. So for now, we're going to start using one of the template gallery here. So for example, I want to use this one. Let's go and click on choose. Now from here, it should redirect you to another tab, which in this case, again, you'll be able to see the editor for your email campaign. Now, in this case, this is going to be a drag and drop option. So in this case, maybe you want to add like a little element here. So for example, I want to add a small video. You could just basically drag it into your email here. As you can see, we have our e-video here. Now, if you want to change a few things, you can go ahead and click on that specific element. And as you can see, you have the option to add your video. So just indicate your video URL here and change the background itself if you want to. Now, if you want to delete an element, just click on the delete option at the top right here. And if you want to add special options like uh, specials, you have the survey, quiz, you also have the e-commerce here if you want to sell something, you have the gallery, blog, RSS, the hero section, the sections uh, as well, the elements and the content and save blocks if you have those. But in this case, once you're done, you could just go ahead and click on done editing here and you should be able to start sending out your email campaign. And that's about it. So in this case, you can go and click on send test here. And from here, once you've tested it, you should be able to see a send button at the bottom right of your screen. Now, by the way, you need to first verify your emails or in this case, it's going to say ready to get started. Confirm your account to start sending emails and publishing sites. So you need to get confirmed first. So you need to provide some for form of identification. In this case, once you confirm your account and send the test email here, you should be able to have the send email option now available to you. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.